to take my Rainforest of the Sea by Tarte. And this is a marine boosting mist. I also use it as a moisturizer to moisturize before. So I just do that and I let it dry without sneezing. <laughs> so, you know. And then I'm going to take the Mattifying Cool Ling, not Mattifying, Cooling Matte. <laughs> um, Skin Perfecting Primer by Too Faced from the Peach and Primed, Prime and Peach, Prime and Peachy. And then, sorry if I don't look my best. Um, it is my day off and I sleep in, so I don't look satisfying right now. I'm literally still in my pajamas, so. No shame. Okay. So then, my hands are clean, by the way. I washed them before I did this video, so. If you're gonna leave a comment down there saying your hands are probably dirty, why are you using your hands to do that? I washed them before this video, and then I also sanitized them, so they are twice as clean. So, I am now gonna use the peach perfect foundation i am the lightest shade snow um yeah i'm the lightest shade go figure right um i really like this foundation because it does cover my cheeks up um i do have minor rosacea and then especially in the winter it really shows but this is my makeup that I have been doing for a while and I think I'm gonna carry this makeup routine into the spring possibly the summer um, I start to wear less makeup in the summer just because of how hot it gets and in Ohio <laughs> the weather is unpredictable you know it says it's gonna be 80 degrees one day and then that day gets here and it's like 90 almost 100 so in Ohio <laughs> it's very unpredictable so I I like to wear less makeup in the winter or in the summer rather than winter and spring because spring is predictable spring is semi warm semi cold rainy most of the time so okay so i'm just gonna do a little bit more because i forgot to dampen my beauty blender so <laughs> i knew i was forgetting something before i started but my beauty blender was clean so because i woke up this morning to a comment on my skincare routine um, saying how I touched the doorknob, I picked up the cat, and, you know, yeah, my skin is clear because of my skincare, and I am kind of a semi-germaphobe, so I do wash my hands more than I should, um, and I clean my doorknobs like every other day every day um so my doorknobs were clean i washed my hands before the video um my cat is an indoor cat and she is clean so i mean it just kind of touched me the wrong way i guess but i mean youtube you're gonna get those comments and everything and you just gotta learn to deal with it but I do clean my house on a regular basis, so it's not like my house is dirty. Um, Brock cleaned the house last Saturday. Monday I cleaned the house because it felt dirty to me, even though he just cleaned it two days before. Um, it just felt 
dirty. So I wiped all the tabletops off again. I vacuumed again. I mopped again just to make me feel sane because it just felt dirty to me. So everything that I do is sanitary. I wash my hands before I do anything. So I mean, what are you going to do? So the next thing, anyway, so the next thing that I'm going to use is the NYX HD Concealer in CW01, the lighter shade again. I'm just pale, okay? Like, let's just get that out of the way. I am pale. I rarely self-tan because I cannot keep up with it. And I feel like if I self-tan, it rubs off when I take a shower. So I don't self-tan. I, I used to go tanning when I had a membership and at the gym. And I don't go to the gym anymore because I started working out from home. So I quit tanning. Um, the only time I tan now is outside. Uh, I have self tanners in my closet. Like, in the hallway so I do have self tanners but I just I can't keep up with them I feel like they rub off when I take showers and it's like what the point what, like, what's the point of doing it if it's just rubbing to rub off so <laughs> I'm pale let's get that out of the way I'm pale and I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. It's okay. Now. NYC Smooth Skin Powder. Um, I have to get more loose powder. I'm almost out and I realized it. And I'm just going to use a brush to apply that with. Um, I really, drugstore that I think I own is two foundations and my makeup, or not my makeup, my eye palettes, my eyeshadow palettes. Them are the only things high end, so I don't own a high end face powder yet. I really want to get the Patrick Star. If you have tried it, let me know down in the comments. I really want to try it. I've seen so many beauty gurus try it and like that's their go-to powder but let me know down in the comments if you have tried it because I really want to try it and I just love Patrick Star I mean who doesn't you know I laugh at his videos when he <laughs> I love his videos and he just knows how to make people laugh and it's just so fun to watch he uses it Nicole Guerrero, and I hope I'm saying your last name right, um, and she's, that's like her go-to powder, sh I think she said, so I really want to try it out. Um, I used to bake. I don't bake anymore. I don't know. It's just so time-consuming, I feel like, and you can't really do that you can't really do that part of the face until your baking is done. So I just stopped baking. I think after a couple months, like I just don't bake anymore. So I just do that. I mean, I have a beauty blender to bake with and you know, sometimes I will bake and sometimes I won't, but you know, <clears throat> excuse me. It's whatever. Oh, it's snowing out. I needed that. <laughs> That's my second cup of coffee. So the next thing I'm going to use is my go-to bronzer by Physicians Formula. It is the Butter Bronzer in Bronzed. Bronzer. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in with, where is it? A brush just like this. Um, I was using this brush for a while. Love this brush still, by all means. Don't get me wrong. And then I was using this brush by Eco Tools. 
Um, and then I just started using this brush like recently and I love it because it carves it out so well. So as you can see, it just gives the perfect Um, I won't be doing my eyebrows in this video because I'm going to be filming a spring makeup look after I film this. So I'm going to be doing my eyebrows in that video just in case you're like wondering your makeup be done because your eyebrows aren't done. Um, I'm doing that in a different video. So I have a plan to film three videos today. Two are beauty related and one is ideas for Easter egg hunts for kids because I've been doing Easter egg hunts for my nieces and nephew for the past three years and they really, really enjoy them. So I, I don't do all eggs. I do like objects of the color of their basket because they each get assigned a color basket and that is the color that they are only to find. And it just makes it so much simpler and so much easier. To do it that way I feel like um, because with them it's like if one person has more they're gonna fight about it like he has more she has more you know and it's so much easier to color code it for us um, if you've seen my Christmas vlog those are the kids that I'm doing it for um, if you haven't go check it out those are the kids. Those are my nieces and my nephews. Um, they are my, they're not re, like, they're not my actual nieces and nephews, but I am known as Aunt Shelby to them. So I am like, you know. And then Brock is Uncle Brock to them. So we are aunt and uncle. <laughs> We're the cool aunt and uncles. My backlight just turned off. I use my computer as my backlight. Don't judge. <laughs> I'm trying to use what I possibly can. So after I semi bronze my face, I go into a blush. And I've been using, if you've seen my recent videos, I've been using the Physician's Formula Blush Butter Blush. And I absolutely love it. I have to get a spring uh, shade though because that is more fall to me in winter. So I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiris. And it is just a um, ombre brush, blush, blah, blah, blah. ombre br blush. <laughs> it goes from a light peach to a darker peach. Absolutely love it. Um, and I just apply my blush with this brush don't know, really know what it's called but or what type of brush it is because these don't have names on it I got it in a set from Coastal Scents this is my first big purchase for makeup brushes and I love them I do want to eventually get a Morphe brush set And I think I want to get the Bretman Rock um, brush set. And I cannot wait for his highlighter palette to come out. I'm so excited. So excited. Okay. And then for highlight, I normally use the butter highlighters, but I have a Wet n Wild highlighter that I have not used yet, and it is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Royal Kalanix. Kalanix, and I haven't even opened it yet. This will be, I'm disturbing her. This will be the first time that I am using it. So, I 
excited for this. If I can even open it, I'll be using it. Probably should have done that before the video, but you know, hey, not perfect. <laughs> okay. Got it. So I like to use a fluffy brush for this. Um, for the butter highlighters, I've been using this. I've been misting it with the Marine Boosting powder, or not powder, mist, and then using that. I also want to try out this. This is the travel size one, or not the travel, the sample one. I got this yesterday when I got, I had enough rewards because I went to Sephora to get a lipstick for the spring makeup look, and they didn't have like any pale pink ones, and I'm like, why? So, I'm just going to put this on the Beauty Blender. And that's just going to kind of be the base for the highlight. I really wanted to try this out because... I heard great things about it. I love the Rainforest of the Sea collection as well. So it's like, <laughs> give me it. I feel like that oxidized my makeup a little bit because it looks very oxidized on this side. I don't know. I'm going to have to try this out all over my face one day before I put my foundation on. I love the glow that it gives though. It's a really nice glow. So I'm going to go in with this. I feel like for the makeup look that I'm doing next, it would just be perfect. I don't know which side to do. Ooh. I like... I like... Excuse my non paint of nails, but I really like it. I really like it. Okay, so that is what I do. Now I can also, I also set my makeup. because It says that you can use it as a setting spray if you would like. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> that's all I'm doing. <laughs> uh, this is my second time repurchasing this. Um, I could just break down and buy the bigger bottle, but why when they have this right in the checkout at Sephora. So that is what I do for my makeup in the spring. It is very light and refreshing and just, I use a lot less makeup than I do in the winter. In the winter, I like to pack on foundations just because of the simple fact that it's winter, it's cold and you know, it just, hides everything I guess but <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with that so yeah um so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you are notified every time I upload a video because I am uploading three videos today so stay tuned for that I have a lot of editing to do it's gonna take me probably all day to do lord help <laughs> But 
stay tuned for the spring makeup look that is going to be after this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.